this versus this. Which war better? You are stealing creativity of the brand. How dare you? No, you're wrong. I'm disgusted. I'm appalled. I'm so shocked that you have no ethics. You're well, guys, hell just froze over. would have thought that I would be comparing a fake with a dupe to see which one stood the test of three years. Oh, how time has changed. And it's you, Gen Z. Yeah, I'm on your side. I've got you. Actually, I'm ambivalent about it at this stage, but I like to keep an open mind. And yeah, before you ask, what the heck is she talking about? Today, I am going to compare with you my dupe for the Oran sandal with a fake of the Oran Hermes sandal. As you guys know on this channel, sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability. So I'll leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable. Woo. It's an interesting one today, guys. Let's get to it. About three years ago, I bought this from Dune London and I think I paid 85 British pounds for it. When I saw this, I absolutely love it because I am of the mindset that if I see something, I like it and I could find the dupe or anything that fits well, that is similar in style to it, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to try it. So I bought the dupe and I shared it on my channel ages ago and this is what I said at the time and this is at a price at about a hundred plus the yellow is now on sale for half price that is actually a great deal yellow is definitely a summer trend this is gorgeous the only issue I have with it is that it's a little bit too wide for me up there so my my toes tend to go over but that's an issue because it doesn't come in half sizes but it's gorgeous I love the bit of the heel and it's very cushiony and it's very comfortable inside so this is a really 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 great buy if you're looking for a very good quality sandal um and you're looking for a dupe for the ms this is definitely the one however the sole is very smooth so be careful with that wow the things we say sometimes eh <laughs> and unfortunately oh Sometimes you want to do a product so much justice, but it's often premature to state things that may not be accurate before you actually wear that shoe extensively. And I say that because at the time of the recording of this, which was three years ago, I was going to my country and I wanted the sandal to wear there. And when I tried it, oh my God, it definitely has a cushioning insole. I, I love that. And of course, as I said, it was too a bit too wide up here. But this is three years later. And you could see the wear 
and tear and today guys I am not so sure I could actually state with a straight face that this is of great quality the reason being is that it did not age well and I know I was happy to buy this because there were some youtubers that also recommended that this is an excellent dupe for the home sandal and I jumped on that bandwagon and I continued the train of narrative yes I fed you the same narrative and for that I apologize it did not age well the lining for the upper part of the leather which I don't understand why they would line it with something that cheap why don't you just leave the raw leather because up here the upper section is leather so why line it I would not line it at all because this is falling apart while up here remains sturdy and of course well I expect wear around here it's over three years or it's three years that's understandable but you could see that I did not really give this the hammering that it deserved I didn't wear it as I should really really wear it but the sole cracked guys it cracked and for me you know and it's not just one both of them cracked for the love of me I do not know how it managed to get cracked because I wore it in my country most of the times it did not get as much wear and yet it cracked how how why no seriously why 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 and here I was three years ago really really putting my head on the block for this and what a huge disappointment it is so now I have this Hermes one and this one guys as you could see they are approximately the same age this is definitely fake it is fake because when I bought this online she couldn't find serial code there's nothing underneath there but it is leather and she wore it for two summers so that's like two years ago and she had bought it practically brand new as you could see underneath of it is still pretty sturdy it looks like it's actually leather underneath here as well because it's wearing pretty well how could a fake be wearing better than a dupe a dupe this is cracked they are about the same age because I asked at least she said she wore it for two summers and on an, and a an vacation elsewhere so which means that it has definitely been around for around the same time that I purchased that dupe so guys there's nothing at all wrong with it it's in really really great shape there's no crack there's nothing this is really good leather although I'm returning it as soon as I'm done with this video this versus this which wore better the fake wore better 
guys the math ain't lie statistics do not lie three years both are leather there's not even a damaged upper part of this inside none yet this one is so damaged look at this so who am i who am i really and truly to tell gen z that they should not buy what they love man you do you honestly because while we often don't want to promote the replica, the copy, the fake industry, people like to know that when they're buying something, they're getting quality. The fakes are providing quality these days. And in order for the dupe industry to keep up the need to really do better and give customers quality because I I paid less for the replica than I paid for the dupe my curiosity really got the best of me because I really wanted to compare it with my Dune London piece to see how well it worked how well it stood the test of time. I really, really wanted to say that the dupe is the better of the two. But unfortunately, it's not. Oh. So guys, often we argue that do not ever, ever, don't you dare, it's bad. You're stealing um, the copyright, the intellectual property of Hermes. You, you are stealing creativity of the brand how dare you no you're wrong i'm disgusted i'm appalled i am so shocked that you have no ethics you're not ethical really you're throwing stones really keep in mind that many many design styles are often replicated over and over many styles many of these brands let them tell you that they were not inspired by maybe a street artisan or somebody elsewhere trust me not many of these brands have their original designs they get their inspirations many times from the streets from local artisans so they would not admit to tell you that it's not their original design. Of course not. So that's not a stone that anybody should throw. Because in today's age, everybody is borrowing from here, there, everywhere. Everyone is borrowing or replicating each other. What do you think Dooms did? They replicated. They copied. But they got the rights to do so. They slapped their name on it. And while I really, really love to support the dupe industry, it's not giving. It's not giving. It needs to match or just overmatch the replica industry. And yeah, as I've said in another video, the replica industry is not the only industry that is involved in human trafficking or terror. That's bad. But you might be surprised that there are bots always buying very high-end products, selling them at higher markups. Who are those bots buying for? If you know the answers, let me know. Because you might think it's just another person who is trying to resell to make a profit. Do you really know who that person is? So that's why we don't often confine terror or human trafficking and all the other scourges of society or the world to just one section or one industry. 
it's a narrative that is being disseminated worldwide and while I see why at the same time that outside of the replica industry you'll be surprised at who what businesses are actually operating underground yet some of them may have a front we we just need to pay attention but at the same time, I am really surprised that here I am in 2023 telling you that a dupe failed and the replica won. In terms of quality, cost per wear, and ultimately longevity. Guys, I am just a messenger. I'm not telling you what to do. You do you. But dupe, replica, for me, I'm on the quality bandwagon. So, yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to repackage this. And return it to sender because I don't want you guys to be saying I'm supporting the fake industry. So we're gonna do it right. Just as it came like this. And I'll be returning it like this. Yeah. So let's go into the post office. Okay, at the post office. Sending it off. Thank you. I hope that you have learned something. I hope that you pay more attention. And I hope you did enjoy this video. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Hey kid. Don't ever let them get inside your head.